All right, let's get started. Welcome to boot camp. I'm Jamie. I will be leading you through today's workout. You will need a set or two of weights. You'll have some different options that you can utilize different set, different heavy versus moderate versus light set of weights. Uh, let's see, what else? If you're new to exercise, please always consult your physician before starting. If there's ever a move or exercise that just doesn't feel good to your body, choose a different option. And always the main objective is to have fun. We're going to work with a three, two, one. So we'll have three minutes of cardio, two minutes of strength, and one minute core for sure getting through three circuits of that. Let's get started with that jog in place. Inhale through that nose, out through that mouth. Way to press play today. Proud of you for being here. Inhale, exhale. Open those arms. Let's just push out that chest and back. We're going to utilize those muscle groups with some rows, some push-ups. So we to make sure we're prepared for that. And we have a visitor as well. <laughs> Stay with it. Take those arms out straight and just find some arm circles here. Rotating those arms. Warm up the shoulder joints. Find a nice tall spine here. Good. From here, reverse opposite direction. That's it. From here, you're going to take it more into those butt kicks. So just bring those heels to glute. You can also take side to side hamstring curls. You're not ready to go to that full jog yet. Good. Have movement with breath. We're going to take knee pulls next, but I'm going to reach overhead and you pull the knee in. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Yep. Just like that. How about we pull those elbows down to our ribs, our side bodies. Warm up those back muscles. A few more. We're going to take this into ollie shuffles. Four, three, two, like a scissor. Scissor kick your legs and arms. Long lever. Right here. You're great. Your core. Five bone pulls the spine. We'll take jumping jacks next. Four, three, two, jumping jacks. Overhead, hands all the way down to your side. That's it, come on. We're here to move, we're here to not only work our mind, our body, but our mind, all together. We got wide, so we got two hops in the middle. Four, three, two, here we go. Out, and hop, hop, out, hop, hop. That's it, squeeze those inner thighs. It's a shorter warm up, because we got a shorter time together. Stay with it. Last two. One more. Good. Hold in that wide base. Take the legs wide, stand up for a second. Just shift side to side. We're going to have some lateral movement, so I just want you to stretch out your insides a bit. Doing great. Four, three, two. Last move. Step your feet together. Hip hinge. Reach up to the top. Hip hinge. And stretching out those hamstrings. Changing on glutes. Two more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And nice job. Excellent work. Okay. Three moves. We're going to do them 30 seconds, but we get to repeat them two times. That, you're going after that. will be a side shuffle. Back or side shuffle. Star. Got to remind my weights. Okay. We have one more after that. It's a burpee star. Get set. Forward and back. 30 seconds. Here we go. Forward, back, star, star. Forward, back. We're going to get a little extra height. Star, star. Yep. That's it. Forward, back, star, star. Forward, back. All right, get some height there. Let's go. Forward, back, star, star. Few more seconds. Or step, step, back, back, star, star, rock. Literally, side shuffle with the star. All right, get that if you have a lot of room. You can just step, step, star. Ready? Side shuffle, star, side shuffle, star. That's it. Or that really nice big star jack. Okay, or you make it. That's our dump. We're getting lateral movement. We're in that frontal plane of motion. So you're just in the sagittal plane, which just means that you're going forward and back. Going, we're getting that heart rate up this first three minutes. 
Your last star variation is you're going to come down into that plank. So bird B, you come up, star. Okay, good set. Here we go, hand plant, hop back, hop in, star. Or that's star jack. Or take that lunge, hop. Actually, you'll go right into that star if you take that variation. So if you want to stay lifted, this is your different option for the burping. Two more. All right, shoulders right over those wrists. And also step back, back, in, in, tap, tap, back. All right, you got those three. We get to repeat them. Four to back, two stars, or two star jacks. Here we go. Four back, star, star, four back. So it's not to be a big hot four to back, okay? You can see more upright. Star, star. We can go more of a squat jump. Star, star. You decide. Star, star. Come on, I know you can do it. You know how hard for how long you gotta work. So put that effort in. Let's go. Rest. Good. So work side. If you don't have a lot of room, like I was saying, you could do a little tap tap by the side. Okay, or just say one here. I'll step over. Star. If you don't have a ton of room, to work with. And just be mindful of your space. If you're on carpet, be mindful of moving side to side. Be mindful of those weights are in front of me. I'm here to lead you, so I'll entertain you. Not to fall on my face. Do it then. All the way. Four star. Right here. Finish it up. Keep going, keep going. Rest. Last one. Burpee star, and then we'll do some strength, okay? You're doing great. Inhale to the nose, have that mouth. Heart should be pumping. So let's go to work. Hop back, hop in. Star. I was supposed to do two stars there. Go on. Pull it over those ribs. Back in. Make sure you come into that plank. Right, it's a strong plank. Belly button pulled to the spine. You're over halfway. Or that lunge back, come up. Star. Keep going, keep going. And rest. All right. Quick transition. You're going to grab for that weight. You're going to go reverse lunge. You're rowing towards the bent knee, opposite knee pull. Reverse lunge, opposite knee pull. So that's your first move. Okay. Here we go. Doesn't matter which leg, we'll do both. So step back. You always twist towards the bent knee. Like you row towards the bent knee. Pull that opposite knee up. This is going to work balance, right? So you can step, then knee pull. If you want to break it down a little bit more. Yep, you got it. Our next move is going to be on the floor with a plank row and a Spider-Man push-up. I'll show you how to do it, okay? Whatever leg is stepping back in the reverse lunge, that's the leg that's going to pull to the elbow. And that's the arm that you're going to place. So my right leg is just stepping back. I have to weight in my right arm. I row, and then Spider-Man push-up. If you're on the knees, you come here. Let's try it. So row, and then Spider-Man push-up. You stay to that side. Spider-Man push-up. If that does not save your body, just take a nice little push-up right here. <laughs> nice little push-up. Push-ups are tough no matter what. Whew. Keep those hips as level as you can. Stay with it. Let me get to repeat these same sides right here. Same move, different sides. Good. Relax. Actually, no. Stay with the same side. I'm sorry. Same leg back. Okay. We'll do the other side when we get to the next set. Okay. So same leg steps back, same knee pulls. And then you're still twisting towards that same bent knee. Okay. So stay on that side that you just were. Inhale lower. Exhale up. Things I'm looking for. Want to make sure that knee stays over the ankle, not going past the toe. Chest stays lifted. Inhale lower. Exhale pull. Come on, you can do it. Tap, then pull. Work that core. And rest. Come on down. Same. Same leg that was just moving back is the leg that comes with the spider, knee to elbow. 
And then you have that same arm for the row. Ready? Here we go. Row. And then try to push up. I'll show from this angle. Row, knee pull. You could also work the row and just work the knee pull and take the push up out of it. What do you need to do? Get my row. Come on. Chin off that chest. All the way. We gotta challenge ourselves. Rest. Nice job. All right. That is your um, core. You're gonna do a plank tap. Stop for a second. I'm gonna grab two weights. You can do it without weight, okay? So basically, you're going to go tap, tap, and the one arm opens to a press. And then that arm sets down to the opposite hand. Tap, tap, and row, okay? We have a full minute, so you'll get some good practice. Get set. Here we go. Tap, tap, open up, side plank press. Now that hand comes down, opposite hand crosses. Cross, cross, open side plank, other side. Yep, and then opposite hand, cross, cross. As you're crossing in those shoulder taps, keep the hips as level as possible. Can you do this from the knees? Absolutely. Tap, tap, open and press. Got it, tap, tap. Open and press. You're over halfway. Come on, stay with it. So each of these circuits, again, you have three minutes of cardio, two minutes of strength, one minute of core. And we actually snuck some core in with the strength there. So less than 10 seconds. Can you pop up onto those toes if you're not there already? Tap, tap, open, and relax. Nice job. So our strength stays the same. It's just gonna be the opposite leg that will come back and pull, okay? Do three new cardio moves. Theme for this one is hot feet, okay? So you go hot feet forward and back into a burpee, right back, forward and back. Second move, full theme once again, you got your punch, hot feet into a burpee. So that's your lateral movement. And then you'll have, Okay, you're gonna go high knees, past feet, high knees. Okay, three moves. Let's start there with our cardio. Forward and back, hop feet. Ready? Into a burpee. Happy forward, back, into a burpee. Right back up. Keep forward, back, burpee. Happy forward, back, burpee. Again, remember your modification for that burpee. Lunge, hop, forward, and back. Woo, come on. I know you're getting used to that move. Go. Feet forward, feet back, burpee. Good job. You're gonna get a lot of calf work here, okay? Now the ladder movement. Shuffle, hot feet into a burpee. I'll count eight counts. Ready, here we go. Shuffle, five, six, seven, eight. Burpee, down, and other side. Shuffle, two. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands back, back, in, up. Shuffle. Hit that target. Burpee, hand. Back, in, up. Shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands back, back, in, again. Shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight. Burpee. Nice job. All right. Back on feet. Feet for four. Knees. Okay, I'll call it up. Whew. Ready? Go. Feet. Knees. Feet. Knees. Feet. Knees. Feet. Knees. Got to use your arms right there. Come on, feet. Knees. Get up. Knees. Ten seconds. Feet. Knees. Feet. Knees. Keep going. Feet. Knees. Good. Nice job. Guess what? We get to repeat it. Forward and back, half feet into that burpee. Yes, you can. Come on. Let's go. Half feet forward and back. Burpee down. You can really go at your pace here. You can do half feet a little bit longer. Plus of the burpees. Okay. What do you need? This is your workout time. 
This is your me time. Doesn't matter what happened before class. Doesn't matter what's gonna happen after. At least you took this time for yourself. Less than 10 seconds. Woo! Still so enjoy those reps. Love and pulse is fine. Rest. Inhale, exhale. Side toes a punch. Get set. I want you to hit that target. Let's go. Punch. Five, six, seven, eight. Burpee. Down. In. Up. Shuffle. Taking the mod. Opposite leg goes or outside. Down. Down. Other side. Shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight. Lunge your burpee. In. Up. Shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight. And swim. Back. In. How about more? Shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight. Burpee. Nice job. Whew. Okay. Funny with the hot feet. Then you're finishing out cardio. We'll go into the other side of the string. Go. Feet. Knees. Feet. Knees. Come on. I want to see those knees up. Knees. Let's go. Feet. Knees. Feet. Right there. Knees. Come on. Knees. Push it right here. Don't let your mind rob you. Push it hard. Knees. <laughs> Feet and knees. <laughs> monkey say monkey. Do. Knees. Woo. Say, do what I say now as I do. Here we go. Now that no, drop that mouth. Drop that weight. Lunge. Now you're twisting towards the other leg. Okay? I need to do this side. Good and pull. So opposite knee that you did before. Twist towards my knee. Opposite knee pull. Your chest lifted as you lunge back. Knee right over the ankle. And pull. Or lunge, tap, and pull. What do you need? Why don't you take it right here? Get some good core work, transverse play as you twist. Rest. Good. All right. Other side, plank row, uh, Spider Man push up. There we go. Again, lots to say there. Ready? Wide base, pull, and then the hand that's on the weight is the one that you push up into the Spider Man. Or you're right on those knees. Here, I can get more range of motion on my knees. So I like to stay there. Again, you do you. Turn off that chest. Exhale, pull that elbow into your side. Challenge yourself. Or again, maybe you row, and you do a regular push up. Rest. We get to do those two one more time, okay? Same side, twist towards the knee. Ready? Here we go. Lunge, knee pull. That's a lot of balance right there. So take those extra steps. No garbage reps here, okay? I want them to be effective. I want you to feel it. Inhale lower, exhale up. Reverse that lunge. Chest stays lifted. Yes, you can. All the way. Maybe you challenge yourself with a heavier weight this round. Maybe you're going a little bit faster. And rest. Excellent effort. All right, let's finish the strength and then we get a cardio or a core move that we'll stay on the floor for. Plank row, push up. Let's go. Row. Spider-Man pull. The Spider-Man is just the knee pull with it, okay? Otherwise you pull. And do your regular push up. Always try it. You can never know until you try. Doesn't mean you fail if it doesn't work out. You're just getting feedback, okay? Got it that way. Come on. Label that fear as excitement. Something new to try. Challenges your body. Right. Got it. Stay here on the floor. Go medium ish weight. Maybe a little bit heavier if you can. You're gonna push forward. You're gonna turn. Center, other way, here we go. Press, forward. This is a long lever as you press away from the body. I'm just gonna show up from this angle. Body twist. Harder for the knees. Good, press forward. Whew, bicep. Shoulders down back. All three angles here. All three planes of motion. Let's go. All the way. Remember, this is a full minute. 
Yeah, so if you need a little posture break, take it. A little easy, maybe you can try a bit heavier weight. If the lever that you're pressing out, those arms all the way straight, maybe don't press as far out, right? You can turn your range of motion there. You got 10 seconds, finish it up. Exhale, press out, inhale back. Okay. Three seconds. Rest. Thanks, Dad. Go to drink. All right. Last round here. Wine. All right. Last cardio we got here. So the three moves. You're going to go lunge back, pull, hold the other leg. So lunge, one, two, hold. Lunge, one, two, hold. Okay? You're going to mimic that somewhat in mountain climbers. You can go one, two, hold. One, two, hold. Hold. Our last one is going to be a little bit of a sprinter arms with a lunge, but I'll show you when we get there. Okay? Then your strength moves, I'll show you real quick because we don't have a lot of time in between. We're going to do a clean. Let me show you here. So you go clean, single arm press, squat, press the other arm, bring it down, do it again, press the other arm first, squat, and press. So there's some single arm stuff there. That next one, a little bit different. Okay? Hug it in. We're gonna do a swing into a bicep press and curl. Okay, again, that'll make more sense when we do it. And then we have one more core work. Okay, let's go start with our cardio. Lunge, ready? Here we go. Lunge back, one, two, three. Lunge back, one, two, three. Lunge back. I'm touching that floor. You can touch the shin so you don't go slow. Lunge back, one, two, three. Lunge. One, two, three. How long you got to work for? 30 seconds. Come on. Last cardio. Take it in the gear right here. One, two, three. Lunge. One, two, three. Woo! Okay. From here, mountain climber. Shoulders over those wrists. You pull, but you have that hold. Okay? That's a one, two, pull. Ready? One, two, hold on the third. Yeah. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. One, two, three, and hold. Yep. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Try not let those shoulders come up to those ears. Intentionally press them away. Hold. One, two, hold. Come on. One, two, three. Those shoulders are tired. One, two, and hold. One, two, hold. And you rest. Nice job. All right. Come on, we're gonna stay to one side, okay? You're gonna go sprint your arm, hop, back into your sprint your arm. I'll call the hops, ready? Here we go. So you're holding that lunge, hop, right back into it. Hop. Good. Hop, you can stay here, or you can bring the knee up, hop, right back into it, okay? Hop. Come okay, on, those arms going faster, hop. Under 10 seconds. Let's go. Hop. That you got. Come on. Hop. And rock. Okay, let's repeat. The leg that you just had forward, you're going to make sure you do the other leg when we get there. Okay. Lunge, tap, knee hold. Kind of like a hyphen. Lunge. One, two, hold. Lunge back. One, two, three. Lunge. One, two, three. You got it. Lunge. One, two, three. Let's go. You showed up. Maybe you had a hard day, right? Take that energy, put it all into this last circuit. Hold, Come back. Make sure your knee is still over that ankle when you hop back or tap back into that lunge. And rest. Ooh. How you doing? Okay, we got mountain climbers next. Let's go. Right there with you. And let's work. One, two, hold. Third knee. One, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and hold. Are those glutes hiking up here? If so, bring them back down. Shoulders should be right out of those wrists. And hold. You can also do the standing, right? One, two, three, hold. It's just what you did without the lunge. Same thing. Finish it up. Five seconds. I want you to go all the way to that come down. Try to stop. Rest. Other leg forward. Whew. Lunge with the sprinter arms. We'll hop. Now that again, that hop can be here. 
or that hop can be up here. Let's go. Hop. Knee over that ankle. Hop. Or hop. Get him going. Eyes up, chest up. Hop. Hop. Let's go. Come on. Push it right here. Hop. All the way. Hop. Couple more seconds. Hop. You get lower in that lunge. Go, 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 go. Hop. Done. It's a clean single arm press. Okay. Ready? So you clean it. Single arm press. Squat. Press the other arm. And then bring them both down. Yep. Clean. Single arm other. Start. Squat. Press the other. So I just alternate which arm goes up in that first press. Squat. Press the other arm. Woo! This is a compound move. And your heart rate's up from that cardio. So squat. Okay, so listen to your body. Knee over the ankle. Do that squat. One more. Last. I'm gonna get the other arm in there. Here we go. Now, it's like a kettlebell swing. In a sense, you're gonna bring those arms in. Hip hinge, pull them in. I press them out just slightly, but as I press out, they're going right back into that swing. Now, be mindful of the way that you choose this movement. So there shouldn't be any pain on the low back. You should be able to see your hamstrings, your glutes. Okay, send that butt back behind you. Pull it in, press it up. 10 seconds. You like your pace. Hip hinge, not a squat. Come on, and rest. Whew. Oh man, okay, guess what? We get to do it again, yep. Gotta make that two minutes of strength, that was one minute. Get set, here we go. Clean, press. Press the other arm, yep. Stand and bring him down. Again, clean, get under it. Press, press, bring it down. Yes, you can, come on. You might feel a little uncomfortable, right? But we gotta get uncomfortable to find some girls here. Flip under it, press. You can always change that weight. Or maybe you went heavier this round just to try. All the way, three seconds, finish it up. Woo, yes. Okay, into that swing. A little bit of that bicep curl. It's like a hammer curl almost. Press. Here we go. Hip hinge. Curl, press it out. Good. Send those glutes behind you. Feel those hamstrings. Use the hips as you squeeze the glutes and press forward. One. Come on. Now you just have a couple more seconds to go. Give it your best. You showed up, you got this far. All the way. Final seconds. Two. Rest. Woo. All right, final move. It's a hollow out one weight hold. I would suggest going lighter weight here if you have it. Now cool it off. I got one minute. You hold it out here. Okay, that's a long lever. <clears throat> I will show you another option. You can go V set here. Okay, otherwise, it's a hollow out hold. I'll let you know when you're halfway. You can also bend those knees for less of a lever, but I want you to really press that low back into that mat. Now, this hip wants to come up off that floor. I need you to press it down, okay? You're coming up. You have about 10 seconds yet on this side. You can bend that elbow a little bit more or a longer lever, harder, arm straight up to the side. You can switch in three, two, bring it in. Let's try that other side. You gotta face you. Yep. Hold, hold, hold. Press, press, press that belly button into that mat. I know that other hip wants to hike. Again, if you're feeling like it's a little too off, just shorten that lever of the legs. Breathe, breathe, breathe. With 10 seconds, can you try that one lever? Reach, 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 reach. Keep going. This is where you finish. All the way. Two, one. Nice job. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock side to side on that low back. Wow, that flew by. Nice job. Leg goes long. One leg into the, or one knee into the chest. Just to stretch out those hammies from that uh, swing that we just did. Then half the nose, half to that mouth. We did some glutes with the lunges and the squats. You can take a figure four here. Press your upper back, shoulders into that mat. 
Good. From here, press the other leg up to the sky. Hamstring stretch. If you have more time to take a longer cool down, please always take it. We also have cool down videos on this page for you. We have really great stretching breaks you can do throughout the day. Place that leg on top, figure four. Inhale to the nose, out to that mouth. Good, press it away. Bring it a little bit closer, one more breath. Hug those knees into the chest, rock up. Good, from here, come all the way into a tabletop. So I'm stretch out your spine here. You're gonna drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round to the spine, look towards that belly button. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round. Good, find neutral. You're gonna bring one leg forward. We stretch all those hip flexors real quick. Just a slight tuck of your pelvis. So instead of like here, you just slightly tuck it. Bring it forward, upper back. I take my hands together, shoulders down and back. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath. Take a side body stretch, stretch out those obliques from your rotations that we took and our Spider-Man push-ups and plank rows, relax, release. Finish on that side, slight tuck of the pelvis, hinge forward. This time we'll take a chest expansion. Inhale, exhale. Be proud of yourself for showing up. It's easy to do, it's also easy not to do, right? So press that play button, relax, bring it up and over. Stretch out that side body. Inhale, exhale. Good, relax, release. You can just go kneeling or you can sit back on your heels. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it out one more time. Inhale, up. And exhale, release. Nice effort today, we'll see you next time.